Especially those who live in the mid coast are all too familiar with brown tail moths, but there's another version of the pesky pest that might have you that you might have noticed in your yard, and they too can wreak havoc on trees. In the case of one main woman, on your health as well. Wanting to know what they are, she wrote to us. She says, would like to know how to get rid of these, and could my coughing and breathing issue have been caused by trying to get rid of them? We get some answers in this latest Ask Now. It's disturbing to see them all over the house and near my windows. Brunswick resident Donna Deegan first noticed clusters of these tiny creatures when she left her home Monday. Probably thousands of them all over the house. It was gross. She tried to pressure wash them shortly after, suffered an asthma attack. And I've never had an asthma attack as bad as it was the other night. The next day, the creepy crawlies came back. It makes me wonder if there's others underneath the house. And so did her asthma attacks. I was really afraid that I could have I could have died desperate for answers. Deegan reached out to us. You can see them all over the gutter. We sent our images to Colleen Tierling, an entomologist with the Maine Forest Service. What have you determined? Um, this is gypsy, gypsy moss. Um, there was a gypsy moss egg mass that was laid last year um, on the siding there and they have just hatched. She says they are likely looking for a tree to feed on, like this oak tree just steps away. The tree, the least of Deacon's concerns. If you are asthmatic, certainly all, see all those little hairs. Um, they, if you breathe in the hairs, they, are, they can be irritating. Is there anything she can do to get rid of them? Brush them off and put them in soapy water. It's funny, as you're talking, uh, Donna just brushed one off my shoulder. The key ingredient here is soap. Water straight from your garden hose won't do the trick. According to the Maine Forest Service, insecticides can also be applied to control the caterpillars. Now I just want these things gone. State entomologists say the gypsy moth is related to the brown tail moth, but it's not nearly as toxic. If you ever have a question you want us to look into, please reach out to us at asknow at newcentermaine.com.